Humans are mysterious, and some of the strangest clues to our past are written not in books or artifacts, but in the very ground beneath our feet. For centuries, we have walked across soil and stone, leaving behind the most ordinary of marks, footprints. Yet sometimes, what seems ordinary carries within it a secret that defies belief. Imagine standing before a slab of granite, one of the hardest stones known to nature, and seeing the clear impression of a foot, not the size of yours or mine, but towering in length, as if a giant once walked across the land and pressed it forever into stone. The first time you see such an imprint, your mind rushes with questions. How could this be possible? Rock takes thousands, even millions of years to form and harden. Yet here lies the shape of toes and a heel, frozen in time. Some say it is nothing more than erosion, the random work of wind and water carving a shape that tricks the eye. But others stand before it in silence. Realizing the chance of nature producing something so precise feels almost too rare. Our world is full of mysteries, but a footprint is different from any other mark. It is personal, immediate, as if someone was just here a moment ago. It carries the weight of presence. When you see one so massive that it dwarfs every expectation of human scale, it shakes the ground of what we believe about history. Were there beings larger than we ever imagined? Walking the earth in ages long before our records began? Could the myths of giants told by ancient cultures across the globe be memories of a reality we can barely comprehend today? This is why the discovery of enormous footprints in stone captures the imagination. They are not just curiosities of geology or relics of chance. They are questions carved into the very bones of the earth, demanding answers. They remind us that for all we know about evolution, history, and science, there are still corners of mystery that remain untouched. And in those corners, we glimpse not only the unknown, but the possibility that our story is far stranger and perhaps far older than we dare to believe. In a quiet valley in South Africa, researchers stumbled upon one of the most baffling discoveries ever made. Hidden along a rocky hillside, half covered in soil and dust, was what appeared to be an enormous footprint pressed deep into solid granite. It was not a faint outline or an accidental resemblance. It showed clear detail, the curve of an arch, the spread of toes, even the defined edge of a heel, and the most astonishing fact of all was its size. Nearly four feet in length, it towered over the footprint of any human alive today. Standing beside it, the researchers felt like children staring at the trace of something that should not exist. The question immediately rose, how could a footprint exist in granite? This stone forms under immense pressure and takes millions of years to harden. A soft foot pressing into it seemed impossible. Some geologists argued that the shape must be the result of natural weathering, the random work of erosion that happened to mimic the outline of a human foot, yet others were not so convinced. The precision of the shape, the way the toes were aligned, and the proportion of the heel to the arch made the odds of pure chance seem unbelievably small. For those who studied it closely, the footprint suggested something more unsettling. If it was genuine, it meant that beings of incredible stature once walked the earth leaving behind traces that defy everything we think we know about history. Myths of giants exist in cultures all around the world, from the Nephilim described in ancient texts to the titans of Greek legend. Many people dismiss these tales as stories created to explain the unknown. But standing in front of a footprint carved into solid stone, the line between myth and reality suddenly grew thin. The South African discovery became a spark for endless debate. Scientists, historians, and curious travelers came from around the globe to see it for themselves. Some left shaking their heads, convinced it was nothing but a trick of nature. Others left in awe, believing they had stood before evidence of a forgotten chapter in human history. Whether natural formation or true imprint, the footprint raised questions that refused to go away. It challenged the limits of what we call possible, and it marked the beginning of a mystery that would only deepen with further discoveries. If the footprint in South Africa stirred debate, the next discovery pushed the mystery into an entirely new realm. Thousands of miles away, in the deserts of Nevada, another set of giant tracks emerged, this time preserved in what had once been soft mud millions of years ago. When the ground hardened into stone, the impressions remained, frozen in time like the pages of a book waiting to be read. At first glance, they looked almost human, though again far too large to belong to any known person. But what made this site different was not just the size, it was the company those footprints kept. Scattered around the giant impressions were the fossilized tracks of prehistoric animals, creatures long extinct. Some belonged to mammoths, others to ancient camels, 
all animals known to have roamed the continent during the Ice Age. Their presence gave weight to the idea that these giant footprints had been left during the same time. The thought was staggering. It meant that if these prints were truly human in origin, then they had been made by beings walking among the giants of the animal world, sharing the same earth as creatures we only read about in textbooks. Skeptics argued that erosion once again could explain the shapes, that wind and rain carved hollows that resembled feet. Yet those who studied the details saw patterns too deliberate to ignore. The spacing between the prints suggested a stride, a walking motion. The depth of each impression hinted at great weight pressing down into the earth. And unlike the solitary mark in South Africa, these tracks came in multiples, as if several figures had traveled together across the land. This discovery opened a flood of speculation. Could there have been entire groups of beings of extraordinary size? Were they travelers, hunters, or simply wanderers passing through an ancient landscape? And if such beings had existed, why were they absent from our fossil record? Why had their bones not been unearthed alongside their supposed prints? The contradiction between the evidence and the silence of the record only deepened the puzzle. For many, the Nevada site transformed the story from curiosity into mystery. It was one thing to see a single strange shape in stone and dismiss it as coincidence. It was another to see a trail of prints suggesting life in motion. Unlike the first discovery, this one pointed towards something larger, something organized, as if whole groups of giants once walked among us. And that possibility left a question hanging heavy in the desert air. Were myths of giants simply imagination? Or were they fragments of memories, passed down from a time when the impossible was reality? Experts could not resist weighing in once the discoveries began to spread across journals, news outlets, and word of mouth. The debate was fierce dividing those who saw only coincidence from those who believed the evidence pointed towards something far greater than chance. On one side stood the geologists who argued that erosion can shape the land in ways that mimic almost anything. They pointed to rock formations that look like faces, animals, or even entire castles, created by nothing more than wind, rain, and time. To them, the giant footprints were no different, natural illusions carved by the earth itself. But others pushed back with equal force. Anthropologists, historians, and even curious travelers who studied the prints in person insisted that the level of detail was too exact to dismiss. The spacing between the toes, the curve of the arches, and the rhythm of the stride all suggested intention, not randomness. If nature had sculpted these marks, it had done so with uncanny precision. That was the point where the conversation shifted from geology to mythology. Across the world, ancient cultures share stories of giants. The Greeks spoke of the Titans, towering beings who walked the earth before the age of the gods. In the Hebrew texts, the Nephilim were described as offspring of divine beings and humans, immense in stature and feared by many. In Norse mythology, giants were said to dwell in lands beyond the reach of men, shaping mountains and rivers with their massive forms. Even in the Americas, native legends tell of giant tribes that lived before the coming of smaller humans. Were these simply tales meant to explain the unexplained? or were they dim memories of something real? Scientists who leaned toward mythology noted how strange it was that cultures separated by oceans and centuries all described beings of enormous size. How could so many people, without contact with one another, create such similar stories? Perhaps the legends were born from encounters with massive bones of long-extinct animals mistaken for the remains of giant humans. Or perhaps, as some dared to suggest, the legends held fragments of truth. Still, no explanation fully satisfied. If giants once lived, why had no clear skeletons been unearthed? If the prints were only erosion, why did they so perfectly mirror human anatomy? Each theory opened new questions instead of closing old ones. The footprints seemed to resist certainty, leaving behind not answers but a tug of wonder, doubt, and fascination. And that tension is what kept people returning to the stones, searching for meaning in the marks that no one could fully explain. And then came the discovery that shook even the most skeptical minds. On a windswept plateau in Turkey, far from cities and far older than any written record, explorers came upon a mark carved into volcanic rock. At first glance, it looked like yet another weathered cavity. But as the dust was cleared away, the truth became impossible to deny. It was a footprint, not vague or broken, but perfectly detailed, as if someone had pressed a giant foot into the earth only yesterday. The toes were clear, each one distinct, their curves etched into hardened stone. The arch swept smoothly, the heel round and firm, 
every proportion echoing the shape of a human foot, only magnified to impossible size. Six feet long from toe to heel, it was nearly twice the length of the print in South Africa and far more precise than the trail in Nevada. Standing beside it, an average person looked like a child. The scale was staggering, almost laughable, yet undeniable. There it was, a colossal footprint preserved in rock that had hardened millions of years ago. For the scientists who examined it, the discovery presented a challenge no easy explanation could overcome. Natural erosion could mimic shapes, yes, but to reproduce such clean detail seemed beyond chance. If the mark was genuine, it suggested that beings of unimaginable size once roamed the earth. If it was not genuine, then how had nature created something so perfectly human? The rock itself only deepened the puzzle. Volcanic stone hardens quickly once it cools, making the idea of a living creature pressing into it almost unthinkable. Yet here was the impression, undeniable and haunting. Theories swirled once again. Some whispered about forgotten civilizations, advanced beings who vanished before history began. Others revived the old tales of giants, suggesting that the myths of Titans and Nephilim were born from truth. Their echoes passed down in stories long after the beings themselves had disappeared. And still others insisted it must be a hoax, though the depth and weight of the print, along with the remote location, made fabrication seem nearly impossible. Standing before the footprint in Turkey, one could not help but feel small, not just in size, but in understanding. The mark forced researchers, historians, and everyday visitors alike to confront the limits of what we know. It suggested that human history, and perhaps human identity itself, might be part of a story far larger than we have ever imagined. It was not simply a discovery carved into stone. It was a challenge carved into our certainty, daring us to rethink everything we believe about who walked the earth before us. Across all the discoveries, from the rocky hills of South Africa, to the desert plains of Nevada, and the volcanic plateau in Turkey, one truth emerges. Footprints are among the most personal marks a living being can leave behind. They carry weight, motion, and intent. Unlike bones or artifacts, which can be explained as remnants of death or culture, a footprint is the evidence of presence, a fleeting moment preserved forever. To stand before a print many times larger than your own is to feel time collapse, to imagine for a breath that someone unimaginably vast once walked across the same ground. For centuries, myths have told of giants, and most of us have learned to treat them as stories, colorful legends with no place in the real world. Yet here in stone, the echoes of those stories seem carved into the earth itself. Perhaps they are tricks of geology, clever illusions shaped by erosion. Perhaps they are the work of chance, no more intentional than clouds forming the face of a lion in the sky. Or perhaps they are something more, fragments of a past that refuses to be fully erased, waiting for us to recognize it. What is striking is how the mystery never closes. Each discovery offers clues but no certainty, leading us deeper into questions rather than answers. If giants once existed, where are the remains? If these are only illusions, why do they mimic the human form so precisely? And why do cultures across oceans and continents share the same stories of towering beings? The footprints, whether genuine or mistaken, demand that we wrestle with those questions. In the end, the stone marks reveal as much about us as they do about the past. They show our hunger to connect with mystery, our desire to believe that the world still holds secrets not yet solved by science or explained away by logic. They remind us that history is not only about what we know, but also about what we dare to imagine. Across all these discoveries, one truth stands out. Humanity has always lived between certainty and wonder, balancing knowledge with the unknown. These footprints, whether made by giants, carved by chance, or born from something we cannot yet name, are reminders that our story is still unfolding. Which of these discoveries shocked you the most? Tell us in the comments, and do not forget to subscribe for more unbelievable stories.